In the last lesson, I showed you how quick and easy it is to use block dots to connect your Arduino circuit to your Pi. However, if you recall, there were a couple limitations. We were getting reverse button states when we clicked our buttons. So by default, I was getting a reading of 1 when the button was not pressed and a reading of 0 when it was pressed. And while this didn't affect our project specifically, if I was doing something else that involved holding the button down, my project wouldn't work. The other problem we were having was a phenomenon known as bounce, and that would be if I turn the knob too quickly. If I, if I go slowly, you can see one click, it gets read properly. But if I go too fast, okay, that was quick. Let's see that again in slow motion. Notice how the value fluctuates as I turn it clockwise. It should always increase, but sometimes the value is decreasing as well. This is known as bounce. Both of these problems can be addressed in code, and with Arduino you have the option of writing your own code. So I'm going to close block dots. Instead, I'm going to bring up the Arduino sketch software. Using this program, you can upload code, known as a sketch, to your board. Let's start by opening our Arduino code. Go to File Open and browse to the file that I shared. And just double click the INO file. Now you might see a message that looks like this. If you do, just hit OK. I've already written the code here. And I'm not going to go into detail of how the code works, but I am going to draw your attention to a couple of things. Number one, the speed at which you pull the serial connection here. This is important because when you configure the plugin in Connect, you need to set it to the same number that you use here. Number two, when you send messages back to Connect, you need to use serial print line. All of my messages don't have a value along with it, but if they did, I would have to do this slightly differently. I'm going to demonstrate how this works first, and then I'll show you how you would modify this if you wanted to have a value pass along with this. In order to use the code, you need to upload the code from Arduino onto your board. So I'm going to connect to my board, and you can see I'm already there. It is on USB modem 1301. The exact number will change from time to time, but it's the one that has USB modem in the name. That's the one you want. As always, you need to verify your code first. And let me just increase the console here so we can see it. And verify if you have any problems with your code, they will output on the bottom down here. If you see it look like this, that means there's no problems. And now we can upload it. And you do that with this second icon. And there it says, done uploading. If you want to verify that your code is working, we're going to open the serial monitor here. And I should see a message on off when I click the button. There it is. And I should see messages temp up and temp down as I turn the temper control clockwise and counterclockwise. So just one at a time and then down, I see that. Fan control, I should see the same thing. So as I turn clockwise, fan up and fan down. And the bouncing has been controlled. So if I turn the knob quickly, you're going to see I get a bunch of temp ups and you still get a little bit of bouncing but it is much more controlled now there are ways to eliminate this altogether but for the the purpose of prototyping just having it controlled is good enough and you're going to see even when i turn it counterclockwise i don't get any bouncing at all same with the fan control this one behaves more or less the same as a temperature control where i get the odd bounce but if I turn it downwards, I get no bouncing at all. So it's well controlled, and this is good enough for my needs. There are plenty of examples online of how this can be controlled further. But in my case, I wanted to keep the code relatively simple. And you'll notice there's not a lot of code here. OK, I have my Arduino programmed now. At this point, I am done in the Arduino software, and it's important that we close it here. You can't have the Arduino software connected to your board at the same time as you use it in ProtoPy Connect. So make sure you quit the Arduino software altogether. And now in ProtoPy Connect, I'm going to configure the plugin. I'm going to go to Arduino. And remember when I pointed out the baud rate that you're using, by default, yours will probably be on 9600. Um, but in my code, I used 115200. The number you choose here has to match what you've used in your code. But I'm going to set it to 115200. And the port, it should identify the board. And you can see it even labels it here, Arduino Uno R3. It's got it labeled there. Just pick that one and click Run. And now when I turn the knobs, I should see the messages come in. And you can see I've got my temp ups coming through. 
my temp downs coming through a little bit of bounce we saw there but very well controlled and if I press the button I get on off and you can see it's working very well in my experience over here fan control works very well and for the speeds at which I turn it bounce is no longer a real issue at these moderate speeds I was getting bounce when I was using block dots but here in my code I hardly see it at all and I can turn it on and off and I have the button working correctly so I have my encoders wired as per spec here I don't have the ground and voltage pins reverse as I did to get things to work in block dots so I have things wired correctly and I'm handling the button state in code so that way it correctly detects when I press the button down and I still have my touch control available on here so I can click and drag same thing with down here and I can turn it off and there you go that's basically how you do the same thing through code now I did promise I was going to show you that if I wanted to pass a value along with the message I can do that too but in order to do that I'm going to disconnect from the plugin here so I'm going to stop the Arduino plugin and let's go and we'll open up Arduino again so in my code here I'm gonna add in just a variable to keep track of the uh, the encoder count now it's not necessary for what we're trying to do but I'm just gonna do this for demonstration purposes so I'm gonna create a variable I'm gonna call this uh, temp counter and we'll initialize it to zero and let me just copy this and in the code down here temperature up and temperature down I'm gonna increase or decrease this counter So if it's turned clockwise one click, I will increase temp counter by one. That's what this plus plus means. And similarly, if I turn it counterclockwise one click, I'm going to decrease it by one. That's what this minus minus means. And now what I want to do is I want to include the value along with this message. When you want to include a value, you follow the message with two pipe characters and then the value. Protopy Connect will look for this pattern. Now in normal coding, I could just do something like this. But this doesn't work with Arduino coding for some reason. I don't really know why. Uh, instead, I'm going to do this in two print comments. The first one will be serial print, and then I'll do serial dot print line, and we'll add in the value. So the value is temp counter. The first one, serial dot print. This one will add to the current line in the serial console. Print line will add to the current line and add a return character on the end. And what this will do is this will cause Protopipe Connect to interpret this whole thing as a single line. So similarly, I'm gonna change this to a print, temp down, add the pipe characters on the end, and I'm just gonna copy this. Paste it here. So now in Protopy Connect, after I upload this to my Arduino, in Protopy Connect, I should see now the message temp up come in along with the value for temp counter and the message temp down come in along with the, the value of temp counter. And before I upload it, I want to verify, make sure I didn't make any problems. Everything seems to be good. So now let's upload it to the board. Okay, it says done uploading. Let's just make sure we're seeing that in the serial monitor. So if I turn clockwise, there we go. I'm getting the value along with it. And if I turn counterclockwise, there we go. I'm getting a count up and count down. So that's working exactly as I expect. Let's quit the Arduino software now. And I'm going to clear the output here in Connect. And let's start the plugin again Arduino this will use whatever your last plugin parameters were but remember that we're using 115200 in our code and uh, the board Arduino Uno R3 so let's run this now when I turn this you're gonna see I'm getting the message temp up come through and the value is coming through as well and if I turn it counterclockwise you can see the value comes through so if you need to include a value in your code, that's how you do it. So the message name followed by two pipe characters followed by whatever the value happens to be. And that's it. And this should still be working just fine. So if we go over here and I hit the button, there we go. And I can turn my temperature up and down. 
I can turn my fan speed up and down. I still have my touch control, so I can tap in the middle here to turn it off, turn it back on, and I can drag to increase my temperature and increase my fan speed. And I'm gonna turn it off one more time using my Arduino. And there you go, easy as pie. This is how you use code in your Arduino projects with ProtoPie Connect.